Hello and welcome to Colleague 7 Sprint Plan for 18.08.02. This will cover the work undertaken between the 21st of August to the 3rd of September. Starting with our sprint goal, and in continuation to the past few sprints, we're planning to undertake the third phase of works in relation to the summary view and continue with a series of updates to help improve performance. High level items and to explain further. In this sprint, we're planning to continue with our development of the background service, this time investigating the addition of notifications so that this function is not triggered or processed within the UI. This will obviously offer further performance improvements when in place. We'll be starting the third phase of development regarding the summary view. This is to add the option to create a history against a record from within the summary view. And this update will also include some minor UI tidy ups in the view itself. We'll be making some code updates so that the entity lookups are read from our master cache file. Uh, in summary, this will offer some minor performance improvements when in place. The team will be investigating optimal memory usage. This is more of an infrastructure review, but again, it's with a view to ensuring optimal performance from the system. We've received some bugs in relation to bulk mailing, and we'll work on a fix to ensure that this error functions correctly, but also that errors are handled better in future. We'll be updating the user group permissions area so that access to the team overview is based on a user permission. We'll be adding company name to the contact selection screen. We'll be adding a new global setting to disable the paths of colleague skills when CV parsing. And we'll be updating the candidate requirement workflow to include a rejected offer icon so that it's clearer which offers are pending to response and which have been rejected. As always, if you have any queries or feedback, please get in touch. I'll be keen to hear from you. Also, for those using Colleague 7, feel free to submit your enhancement requests via the support team or directly to me using the above email address. The next video will be the sprint review based on this development sprint, and as part of that, I'll include some quick demonstrations on the new functionality that's been added. Thanks for watching.